تمام الطاقيه برضه قال ان المهاجرين ساهموا في سوق العمل وغيروا الاقتصاد ازاي؟ Okay, it is also in the report that migrants and refugees had contributed to the uh, Egyptian economy and the labor market. So, how is this? Um, here, I think it's very important to understand what a migrant is. Um, because what we want to show is that migrants cannot be associated or stigmatized as a, po a poor person, not qualified, who is searching for a job. With migrants that we have looked at, it's any person who is of non-Egyptian nationality residing for a certain period in Egypt. So it means it includes all nationalities, as we mentioned, 133. So there are people who are coming to Egypt because they have identified an employment. They are employed by the university and they come from France or they come from uh, Latin America or uh, any country. So the, the, the migration to Egypt is because they have an employment secured. So that's important to consider. It's not necessarily and exclusively those who have flee, uh, flew uh, Sudan or, 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 or Libya or Syria or a difficult situation. But still, there are, so 37% of those uh, migrants are contributing to the economy because they actually pay uh, but they pay taxes, they, they, they create employment by setting up enterprises. We gave one example only of the, the Syrians, but there are of course other nationalities uh, who have created employment by setting up their businesses in the country. Uh, so all this is a contribution to taxation or creation of employment. There is also an important point we have to consider is the fact that 9 million people eat every day. And so for they eat, they sleep, they, they consume. So they are also consumers and they make the economy functioning because they are purchasing things in the, the neighborhood where they are living. So they make circulation of money, which is positive for the for an economy. So it's an, an, another aspect. And a lot also have to renew their, their stay uh, by uh, uh, say, paying a fee for uh, extension of the residence permit, which is also a, a way for provi provision of financial means to the government uh, in the ministry for, for them to, to be able to stay. So these are examples of how they can contribute to the economy and the growth of the country, plus bringing their know-how uh, also and, uh, and creating new enterprises or contributing and, and working in others. اه في البدايه حابب بس يوضح في النقطه دي ان احنا لما بنقول مصطلح مهاجر ده معناه ان اي حد بيجي البلد وبيقعد فيها لفتره معينه فده بيشمل 133 جنسيه في ناس كتير قوي ممكن تكون جاي البلد وهي اوريدي عندها فرصه عمل موجوده هنا يعني هو مثلا بيشتغل في جامعه او جات له فرصه عمل في شركه فهو جاي على فرصه عمل فهو مبدئيا من قبل حتى ما يوصل هو جزء من الاقتصاد في وقتها وشايف ان في طرق كتيره جدا ممكن نشوف بيها مساهمات المهاجرين في الاقتصاد المصري فمثلا اول حاجه ان هم لما بيفتحوا مثلا الاعمال بتاعتهم او البيزنس بتاعهم فهم ده بيخلق فرص عمل كتير بيدفعوا ضرائب فبالتالي بيساهموا برده في الاقتصاد تاني حاجه كون ان هم قاعدين او موجودين في مصر فهم بيستهلكوا فمعنى كده ان هم برده جزء من حركه التدوير الفلوس اللي موجوده في البلد وجزء من الاقتصاد وتالت حاجه ان هم برده حتى يعني اغلبهم لما بيكونوا موجودين هم عندهم زي اقامه والاقامه دي بيدفعوا فلوس برده عليها فهم جزء من الاقتصاد ف بغض النظر عن اللي لو حد ان هو اضطر يجيب صفه جبريه من بلده علشان صراع او نزاع في ناس كتير جدا تانيين او في جزء كبير تاني من المهاجرين جزء من الاقتصاد او موجوده هنا في مصر علشان هو جزء من الاقتصاد. طب بالنسبه للمتلاجئين؟ اللاجئين. What about the refugees? How they can contribute to their economy? Or how do you see them contribute to their economy? Uh, for refugees, it might be sometimes or somehow more complex because the regulations doesn't allow them to work necessarily. So they have to, uh, they, they are doing with on the, on the let's say, uh, informal market. Uh, so they also, and we, we are supporting them, but uh, also United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees is working with them for facilitating their integration. There are facilities for them also to work in some, some enterprises, so now they they are facilitating inclusion. I think this is actually also an initiative of the government to allow refugees to work. Uh, so, so they, they, there is the same. 
the, the issue is the numbers. And uh, all these, as we, you, we have mentioned in our, in our report, we want to give a proper uh, picture of the migrants and say that there are some who are positively contributing. It doesn't mean that everybody has a job. And they are, the, whole, the vast majority are in the informal market, also contributing, true, but informally. Very difficult to measure, actually. So and they are facing difficulties. They are facing the same difficulties than all the Egyptians, actually. So uh, refugees are also uh, those. They are not necessarily all uh, integrating easily. They also have uh, difficulties to have uh, to earn money, to be able to pay uh, education or access health. Uh, they have the right to, but not necessarily the means to. And that's why. Uh, this report allows us to have a more precise information on who is in need of what uh, and who doesn't need support. That the migrant might be wealthy, well integrated, and that we don't need to help. While there are migrants and refugees who are in need of assistance, but to differentiate the two. Okay, so the aim of ومع <تصفيق> عن مين هم المهاجرين واللاجئين لان مش كلهم بيبقوا الحاجه المساعده مش كلهم بيبقوا محتاجين مساعدات او مساهمات في منهم مش محتاجين يعني ما عندهمش ظروف استضعاف وقادرين ان هم يشاركوا في الاقتصاد بشكل كبير وبرده في مهاجرين كتير بيشتغلوا في اسواق العمل غير رسميه بس ده برده كله في النهايه بيصب في الاقتصاد المصري